Hi. In my previous video, I talked about the importance of choosing courage over comfort when we have the opportunity. I also gave you some tips on how to train ourselves for these uncomfortable situations. Why do we stay in comfort and why don't we choose courage more? I think that the reason is here in our heads. The reason is this voice, which I'm sure is familiar to, to most of you. This voice which says to you before you engage in a situation which, which is risky for you, this voice says, hey, just do not even think about it. You're not good enough. You're not brave enough. You're not talented enough for that. So what this voice does, it keeps us from taking risks. It keeps us from going into these situations which actually will cause us to develop. And if you go into these situations, finally, you, you make up your mind and it doesn't go as well as you planned it, this voice says, I told you so. Who do you think you are? I told you you're not good enough, talented enough for that, okay? So this voice is actually the voice of shame. Let's now go to a different voice. This voice can talk to you like this in a situation where you made a mistake, for example. You screwed it up, try to do it again. You made a mistake, you hurt somebody, why don't you try to make it up somehow? And this voice is the voice of guilt. It's very different from the voice of shame because the voice of shame targets your whole personality. It gives you a judgment about who you are. And usually this judgment is bad. You're not good enough. The voice of guilt targets a specific action, a specific behavior. It says, you did not do this activity well. Try to do it again, or you, you, you made a mistake. So what this voice says, what the voice of guilt says actually, is this activity was not successful, but try again, because there is nothing wrong with you as a person. And a lot of research shows that actually guilt is a very useful emotion. It helps us to empathize with others, to take the perspective of others, and actually correct our wrongdoing. It's very, very important. So what can you do? Not to listen to this voice of shame, but instead listen to a voice which is more encouraging and more useful for you. Well, first of all, you can, um, you can be aware when this voice starts talking to you. And, and then at that moment, just try to switch over to a different channel, okay? So when the voice starts talking to you and says, you're not good enough, you're not brave enough, say, all right, pause and say, okay, it, it might not have gone as well as I, as, I, as I planned, but do it again. Try a different strategy. Try thinking about uh, what, what you could uh, do differently. And number two, this is my final point, of course, your, your company matters, the, the people around you matter. So try to be around people who, of course, tell you if you make a mistake, of course, tell you that, uh, you know, you didn't do something well, but they do this without actually shaming you.